you're watching a free sample video from Teachers Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. It's really important in mathematics that we're able to convert between units, meaning converting between inches and miles or inches and kilometers, um, things like this. And in order to do that, we use a process that's called dimensional analysis. What we do is we set up um, ratios, a, a series of multiplied ratios where the units in the numerator and the denominator cancel out. And we'll do an example. Our example is we're asked to convert 18 miles per hour to feet per minute. So let's try that. Miles per hour tells me the units on my original 18. 18 miles per hour. So I'm going to put one hour in the denominator. But I don't want miles or hours. Those both need to be converted. So I'll start by converting the hours to minutes. So to convert hours to minutes, I'm going to put an hour up on the numerator now so that those units will cancel in a second. I know one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. This is uh, a ratio that represents changing units from hours to minutes. All right, that's good. I still need to get rid of the miles though. So I know that one mile is 5,280 feet and feet's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to do another conversion. I want miles to be in the bottom because it was on the top here and that'll help me cancel that out in 5,280 feet. Okay, let's check in on those units and see how we're doing. Miles here cancels out with miles here. Hours here cancels out with hours here. And I'm left with feet per minute. That's a good thing. That's what the problem asked for. It asked me for feet per minute. So I've set up my dimensional analysis correctly. Now what I want to do is multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom, probably using a calculator because these are big values. So if I do 18 times 5,280, then divided by 60, I'm going to get 1,584 and my units on the top are feet, and my units on the bottom are minutes. Again, this is called dimensional analysis to convert between units. A Navy vessel measures 820 feet in length. If a model uses a scale factor of one inch to 90 feet, how long is the model? Okay, so you could imagine this, like maybe you're in a museum or something, and rather than having the true Navy vessel, they have just a tiny little scale. And so we want to figure out how would a scale model work for this. They told us the scale factor is one inch represents 90 feet. So the way we could calculate that to figure out how big the model would be is using dimensional analysis. 820 feet multiplied by one inch divided by 90 feet, so 90 feet in the denominator, is equivalent to doing 820 divided by 90. And if you do that on your calculator, you should get 9.11 inches. You might also be asked to convert money from one country's currency to another. So for example, here we have uh, US dollars compared to Thai baht. That's the money they use in Thailand. Locate the correct exchange rate in the table provided and then multiply the amount of currency you wish to convert by that rate. So here's an example. You're visiting Thailand and wish to convert US dollars 500 into Thai baht. Based on the table above, how much would you receive? Well, for each, 100, or for each um, US dollar, we know it's 36.44 baht. So what I would do is do 500 multiplied by 36.44 to give me the result. To convert units, we use the ratio of two units. So here's another example with money. One euro is worth $1.25. If a Swiss clock costs 55 euros, what is its value in US dollars? So what I'm doing is 55 euros multiplied by 1.25 in the numerator for dollars divided by one euro. Those euros units cancel out and I'm left with $68.75 dollars. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.